Respect. <laughs> Respect, Hannah. Wow, that is some challenge. It's a little bit crazy, but uh, I love a challenge. You do. And, um, you know, as the children get older, you have more time to, to dedicate to training. They're not so needy on the weekends. Sure. I can disappear and, and fill my time cycling or swimming <laughs> or running. Um, it, it is crazy, but it's also, it, it's fantastic. Mm. And I was asked by Gordon to take part last year um, for our foundation. And... Um, I just thought, what better way to spend the time than being crazy in the freezing cold? Because training's in winter months. Yes, exactly. Help. And it's hard, and you've got to do it. You've got to put that training in there, or there's no way you'll get through it. You've just got to do it. Do you yes. train together? Um, not all the time. No. I think we'd uh, we'd probably uh, end up falling out. But it's <laughs> <laughs> we do do odd bits of training together. Right. I mean, the interesting thing about triathlon, it uh, I think it's viewed as a, a dominantly male sport, but in yes. fact, more and more females are taking part. Um, and that's the thing that I've discovered. It's very social as well. Mm. You can go out on your bikes for four hours and stop and have lunch and get back on. It's not like running where you'll then cramp and feel really uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. Um, so I'm encouraging more and more of my friends and colleagues to do this. Um, we, we're doing it for our foundation for Great Ormond Street, which that's is brilliant. somewhere very close to, to our heart. A um, very good friend of mine lost her little boy and Great Ormond Street were absolutely incredible. Mm. Um, and they've actually set up a palliative care unit um, so when you're really feeling as if it's getting on top of you, this is where, when you're training, you think, I know why I'm doing it. Exactly, and it's, it's a brilliant thing to do, an it, absolutely fantastic it thing It is amazing, do. and I think yeah. we're constantly surprised by people. We had a training day on Sunday, and Stefan, one of the gentlemen there, has a nine-year-old girl with cerebral palsy, and he's actually doing this, and he's towing her in a kayak, he's then towing her on his bike. So and she'll be there with him? She'll be doing That's the whole fantastic. event. And then running, pushing her. And wow. you see the joy on her face, and you think this is why we're doing it. Absolutely. And and Gordon and, and you, are you competitive or is it just not, it's just not worth it with him because he's so competitive? I think he's competitive, but I, I no. kind of just zone out there. Yeah, you you're, know, just, you're just doing it for the fun of it and obviously for the reason exactly. of, of the funds, which is very important. Although, despite the fact he is very, very fit, he had a bit of a, a, an incident, wasn't it, the last time he tried to do one? He, he, he really got quite badly ill. Um, oh, in Hawaii, yeah. he got very badly dehydrated. Ah. He took on too much water, went in the swim, and obviously the salt water then made him um, vomit and that dehydrated Good him God. so he was mile two into the marathon and uh, woke up in the back of an ambulance oh dear but that sport you know sometimes it's You've fantastic got... yes he couldn't have been fitter Gosh. but it was all against him on that day. Oh, he'd have been raging he'd have been fuming i think he was too exhausted <laughs> to be any of that to be honest um, i know but you've got you've got a lovely life though you know you really have i know that you graft hard you do work hard you know he obviously works very very hard but you do have a lovely life you do enjoy your life a lot and you've got yes. great you've got good mates i mean i know you're really good friends with the beckhams and it's not just you know it's not just showbiz pals they're proper friends i mean yes. you, you hang out and that, that must be great because we i suppose people have got a perception of them thinking they just kind of waft around drinking champagne and going up and down catwalks and it's not really like that they're just quite normal i think when you have kids it normalizes everything Completely, absolutely but, um, you know victoria is a very good friend she's been um, great actually because in fact for our foundation i'm i've designed a sports kit for ladies to try, oh, and, great. To try and just glamorize it a little yeah. bit because some of this triathlon kit is really uh, it's quite sort of male orientated Bulky. you want nice colors and you want it to be a flattering fit. Mm. So, uh, so yeah, I can get ideas off her as well. That's quite good. <laughs> That's quite good. Oh, gosh, yes, have your pal who's a fashion designer. Because, again, you know, she, she graphs hard. You know, she doesn't just put her name on it. She yeah. actually works at it as well. She does. But and I usually see her when she's with the kids and sort of in tracksuits and, you know, ah, well, on see, holiday we don't see shorts that and t-shirts. <laughs> we don't so. see that side at all. It's always like uber glam, I suppose, all, all of the time. Yes. And, of course, your little one, she's doing her own cookery show as well, isn't she? How's she enjoying that? She's She thinks it's fun. I mean, to... Tilly is one of these people that just takes everything in her stride. Right. Everyone thinks that Jack is most like Gordon because physically he looks most like yeah. Gordon. But in fact, Tilly, personality-wise, is like him. And you know, I sometimes say to her, um, you know, do you get nervous? And she's like, no, no, Mum, it's fine. Last year she um, presented an award at the NTAs. Yes, I remember. Tonight. Yes. And she actually said to me, Mum, can you just go and sit in the audience because you're driving me mad? Because I kept <laughs> saying, should we rehearse it one more time? She's like, no, I've got it. She's wow. she's very, uh, you know, she always forgets to brush her hair. She always sort of, you know. <laughs> 
wears clothes inside out. She scatters anything, but she just, um, she's got this thing where she just doesn't get nervous. And she just enjoys it. That's she the main it. thing. That's yes. the main thing. There is no point in kids doing things like that if they're not having a good time. It's just crazy. So look, when is the big triathlon? When does it all happen? 12th of June. 12th of June. So, so there's a bit of time. There's a bit of time. Probably not enough. Although last, <laughs> this time last year, I hadn't actually ridden my bike properly or been in the pool. So right, so you've been doing I'm it. I feel slightly more prepared having sure. done one. But it's, um, it's just good fun and it's very social. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realise. Mm. It sounds like a huge thing, but I've seen you on the start of many a marathon. And I yeah, said to you well. earlier, this is easier because you're breaking it down into three that's sections. True. So that's It's true. more fun. Although, I'm, I mean, when I say I, I, I honestly do think anybody can do a marathon if you train and yes. you don't half kill yourself. You can do it. You know, me, my timing is terrible. It's like what we were saying. When you do marathons, men always say, what was your time? And women always say, well done. Oh, they do. They do. <laughs> That's the difference between men and women. Exactly. Tana, good luck with it, Tana. Thank I, you. I, I really think it's fantastic what you're doing and, and the amount of money you're raising as well for such a good cause. Thank oh, you. Thank you.